So, what's your favorite thing about the church? All of it. From 1974 to 2014, 40 years have gone by with little to no maintenance, and this is what you end up with. That's why it's in such bad shape. People used the building, but nobody did no maintenance. I got in here September 17, 2014. A lot of these buildings wouldn't be standing unless people went out of their way in the past to keep them standing. So now all the time's gone by, it's the next generation's responsibility to keep it going to pass the old buildings on to f further future generations. My former team and I were investigating down at the Graffiti House, a couple of doors down, and the lady who was the director at the time, Denise Smith, who was now part of Fleetwood Paranormal also, said that we should come down and talk to Steve and see if he would let us investigate down here, and sure enough, he did. It's very uh, satisfying watching good things happen here at the church, and, and Steve and I have gotten to be friends. So. Christy, I met in 2017. At that point, I was able to actually get people inside the building. Steve is wonderful. Steve is a very kind person um, who has become, I think, increasingly enthusiastic about the crazy things that we do down here. A Paracon is a gathering of paranormal teams or paranormal enthusiasts that come together and usually have vendors and speakers and sometimes other events like investigations. Uh, there's a lot of networking, they sell each other a lot of t-shirts. Uh, we can have a few hundred people come through here. I'm just the caretaker. I try to stay in the shadows, but when they need stuff, I, I step in and help them out. The main part of the roof was the hardest. The first time I touched the peak, I'm at one end of the building looking down to the other end and thinking to myself, what have I gotten myself into? And it was hard because I'm not real good with heights. It's so terrifying that you can't work because you're holding on with one hand because you're so scared and you only got one hand to work, but, but I overcame that. And I got comfortable with it and it's no big deal now. A lot of people think it's a new roof, but it's not a new roof. It's a 143 year old roof. I'll go all the way to the top. Matter of fact, I can get up there and stand up there on the peak. Like I'm riding a stagecoach holding the reins. Giddy up! <laughs> When the steeple roof went off back in November of uh, 2021, the newspaper did an article of it. In reality, to get to the very top of the peak of the steeple was six stories in the air, which is very, very, very tall. My ladder wouldn't go that tall, so I, I did it from the inside. I was able to go up through the inside of the steeple roof make platforms, and I tried to plug up the holes the best I could. I couldn't stop the water. Only one way to stop it is to put a steeple roof on it. 
In addition to the Paracons, we also do the Psychic Fair of Brandy Station every year. We're on our third one of those as well. And we did one other event called Spirits of Brandy Station, which we are we were just talking about doing again because that was kind of a unique and interesting event. We had a lot of uh, reenactors showed up. It, it's cool. I have many hours in these windows, but they're totally they're all original. Technology is not for everybody. You, you know what I mean. I'm old school. I'm set in my ways. I don't need that stuff. There's a telephone. You know, there's a telephone, and so we talk about everything, and then I fill him in with pictures from that I make him look at on my phone. And say, look, this is what we're doing. <laughs> you go where you're needed the most, which I don't have deep pockets, but I have knowledge and, and I can do things a lot different because I can do a lot of the work myself, but to try to keep the cost down, you know what I mean? But it's still, I'm probably hundreds of thousands of dollars away from finishing it. So that's a lot of fundraising.